Welcome back, guys. Slide back in here. I quite often get asked by you guys, what is my favourite faction to play in Warhammer? So I thought, hey, let's make a list. We, we tier list. These things are cool, right? My first ever tier list. Um, so I'll make a list of the factions that I find fun. Now, these are not a power tier list. This is just what I find fun playing. Uh, so some of the like the weaker factions may be at the top, etc., etc. So we'll just go through them as they're presented. I might give a reason for each one. I may not. Some of them are pretty self-explanatory, but let's go through them. So first up, we've got the Beastmen. Beastmen are pretty fun. They're pretty old now, though. Like, there hasn't been an update to the Beastmen since they came out in Warhammer 1. So, if they get an update, which we're kind of hoping they get a DLC before Warhammer 3 comes out, they're probably somewhere up here. But as they stand, they're probably... Oh, God. They're probably there, to be honest. They're quite low on the list of what is actually fun. But if they do get an update and a bit more power... They probably jump way up there, to be honest. Like when they first came out, they are real fun, but now they just they just don't stack up. So we're gonna have to put them down the bottom, unfortunately. Uh, next up, we got Britonia. So I'm not a fan of human factions in general. However, Britonia have a slight advantage that they have the whole King Arthur story, the Grail, all that type of stuff behind it, which actually makes it quite fun to play. And I do quite enjoy their campaigns, actually. Special Cassian. Carcassion, I like that campaign quite a lot. I don't like the new one with the the lady over in the desert. I don't find that enjoyable at all. So I'm going to put them probably there. Strictly based on the fact that you get to play basically as like the Grail Knights and that type of thing. Not the actual unit, but you know, the King Arthur story. Dwarfs. Freaking Dowie, mate. Dwarves, I freaking hate playing against. However, I do like playing as dwarves. <laughs> so I'm going to have to put dwarves up in, you know, oh god. No, they're definitely not better than Bretonia. Actually, I'm going to drop Bretonia, sorry. Because dwarves I would rather play than Bretonia, but Bretonia are quite fun. But dwarves are above them. But they're not above these guys, whatever goes into there. Dwarves, yeah, dwarves are like really annoying to play against, but really fun to play as. If you like just like camping in corners and blowing stuff up. Which is always fun, so that's cool. Right, Greenskins, right, if you follow me at any time, you know Greenskins is this tier. Greenskins, any lord, any faction, whatever, it's all fun, love it. Update made them even better, like they were S tier anyway for me, um, but then the update uh, with Grom put them, I don't know, super S tier, if there was such a thing, they'd be way up there. So much fun to play, I love campaign. I don't even know how many times I've done a Greenskin campaign, like a legendary one. I'm thinking like 10 at least we've played. So many, it's so much fun though. Lizard men. Lizard men, honestly, are S tier as well. I love playing lizard men as well. I mean, who doesn't want to play as like giant dinosaurs, man? They're so much fun. Not as good as the greenskins, so I definitely rank them below the greenskins, but still an S tier faction. Like, these are the factions that were like, if you had a gun to your head and like you've got to pick a faction to play right now, these would be the ones that I'd pick. All right, next up, a Tomb Kings. Hmm. Tomb Kings are real slow. Like, their campaigns are real slow. The mythology and stuff behind them is actually pretty cool, though. You know, obviously the undead uh, Egyptian stuff. That's pretty cool. Their big units are fun. Probably put them in there beside dwarves. Yeah, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't be. Um, High elves. Ponzi elves, mate. Who the hell wants to play Ponzi elves? No way. Dark elves, however. Dark Elves are quite fun. I'm not very good with the Dark Elves, though, so I probably have to put them in there. I wish I was better with them, but I'm just not. I find them way more powerful Like when I'm playing with them than the High Elves. I don't believe, still to this day, we've actually done a proper High Elf campaign. I think the High Elf campaign that we've won on Legendary was Alethanar, which I don't know. Like, he's not in like the starting bit, right? He's over to the side. I don't think I've actually done a proper legendary campaign from within the circle, from within the donut. I don't think I ever will. They just don't appeal to me. Like, the only unit I like within, like, that whole roster is, like, the White Lions. Literally the only unit I like. Right, Norska, let's move on. Norska, Norska. Oh, man, Norska was so good at the end of Warhammer 1. Like, so good. The mammoths and that when they first came out. The monster hunts. Oh, that stuff was so much fun. Warhammer 2 kind of killed them, though, right? Were they, they weren't even playable, right, at the start of Warhammer 2 and Mortal Empires. No. Or was that why Mortal Empires was delayed? I don't quite remember. I think that might have been the reason why it was delayed, was because of these guys, Norska. However, 
still fun. But if they get another update, which I don't know if they will, but if they get another update, they'll probably go back up into here or here. There's a very similar vein to these guys, like the same way they play. A lot of monsters, a lot of heavy infantry, that type of stuff. Their campaign just was a little bit better just because of the monster hunts and stuff. But I think the monster hunts are a little bit far away from the actual starting area. But once you get rolling and you get like, like a big mammoth stack going, oh, that's so much fun. That is really fun. Empire. I literally made E and F just so I could put Empire and F. I just don't understand why anybody wants to play a fantasy game and play as humans. And I know these guys are here. That's why I said they had a special caveat because of the whole grail thing. These are literally just humans. Like, there's nothing else to them. Like, yeah, okay, they ride griffins and stuff like that. It's not enough. It's not enough. You're literally just humans. Your infantry are just humans. There's no mythology around great swords. They're just dudes with a two-handed sword. Look, if... Literally made this category just for them. Vampires. <laughs> That's terrible, isn't it? It's true, though. They're so boring. Oh, and then, like, every DLC is like, oh, here's a new caster for the Empire. Here's another new caster for the Empire. Here's another new caster for the Empire. It shows how generic they are with the amount of casters they got. So, I mean, I know they have them, but still. No. Nah. If. That's where you belong. The sad thing is I've got to play Empire. I've got to, I haven't won an Empire campaign, as you might have guessed by that. Um, I've got to play and win an Empire campaign before Warhammer 3 comes out. I'm not looking forward to it. I talked about this on stream the other day. The last two times I've quit playing Total War Warhammer is because of playing these guys. <laughs> like, legit. I, I, oh, I just can't stand them. They're so boring. All right, uh, vampires, let's move on. Vampire counts, like the... Th um, like the thematical thing behind the vampire counts is so cool but they just don't stack up like not anymore again they're another faction that's in desperate need of an update saying that though they are still kind of fun like winds of death winds of death is really good it makes it really fun to play they got to go in there right I don't have anybody in A tier. Huh. It may change. May change. Chaos. Chaos are very similar to Beast, man. Like, the idea behind the faction and all that, and the units individually, like, they're really good, but they're just outdated now. They're just not that fun. The whole... No, it's not even the Horde mechanic, because the Horde mechanic with that dude, with the Lizardmen guy, is actually quite fun. I think it's just, just the way it's implemented with these, which is very old school, it's just... Not fun. It's not fun anymore. I tried to play the. Um, I tried to play Chaos the other day, a couple of weeks back now, um, just off recording and stuff, just for my own enjoyment. Not fun. Not fun. These two factions here, I have actually got to do a campaign with before Warhammer Three comes out because I haven't won a legendary campaign with either of those. Right, Skaven. Skaven have become a little bit of the new empire with all their units and stuff like that that they're getting. Like, there's quite a lot of stuff they're picking up. Uh, but they are fun. They are fun. The new campaign, the new dude with the laboratory stuff, laboratory, laboratory stuff, it's actually really fun. They're not on the same tier as these guys. They're going to be our first eight here, I think. I do enjoy playing them quite a lot. I really like their artillery. Their artillery is really good. Mm, mm, nah, they're definitely going to be A. They're definitely not S tier. They're not the same level as these guys. But they're, yeah, they're definitely more fun than them. Yeah, they've got to be A. They may be on A by themselves, actually. Ah, oh, the Vampirates. They're pretty fun, too. Some of them. <laughs> yeah, some of them are pretty fun. Vampire and Pirates. Oh, actually, no, they're going to go straight into A. They actually are. I do like playing them as well. Just the combination of the, the big monsters, especially the ships, when you get a, like a stack of those big ships and you just destroy stuff from range, is so much fun. Yeah, I think they belong strongly in an A. Definitely, they're definitely not S tier. But A, they're at least as fun as Skaven. Yeah, but they're not as fun as those two. No, no, definitely not. Uh, Kislev. <laughs> I haven't obviously played Kislev, and it's coming out with um, Warhammer 3. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Kislev, Kislev, Kislev. 
They are still just humans. They do have beers, though. Beers are pretty cool. I don't know. I'm going to put them there for now, but I don't know. I, they're probably an F tier as well, honestly. I don't know if beers is enough. Uh, Southern Realms are still here. They're just humans. Do this worse than the Empire. Now, Wood Elves. Wood Elves are pretty fun. I do quite enjoy their campaigns. Being able to get dudes with like 100 or even 200 range damage is insanely fun. So they're actually going to go on A as well, I think. Yep. Hmm. I still don't know about Astelia. Nah, they're fine there. They can go on E. Because I'm not sure. I haven't played them, obviously. And apart from, obviously, mods. But they just make you play as, like, just normal human stuff. They may go up slightly. They may go into there, honestly. Wood Elf, though. Wood Elf's are fun. All their lords are fun. Like, you get to play... I mean, Ponzi Elf's a Ponzi Elf, right? But Wood Elves, you can play, obviously, as, like, the range-based Wood Elf people. Elves. And then you can play as the trees, man. And you can play as, like... Dorthu and stuff. That's actually really good. And the last one, the one we're playing at the moment, the Sisters of Twilight, which is all like flying based. Oh, they did it so well. Like these guys, you do flying based with tic tac toe, but no, it's not as good as this. But overall, the lizard men are better. Yeah. All right. I think I'm pretty happy with that list. I don't want to make this a really long video, but I think I'm pretty happy with that list. Let me know what you think about where I've put things. It'd be quite interesting to see what other people come up with. But I kind of like that list. Yeah, I think everything's in the right place. All right, guys, that's where we're going to wrap it up. Like I say, just a quick video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit that like button. It really does help the channel out. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you next time.